It's Global Entrepreneurship Week here at Clarkson. We're excited to join with over 180 countries around the world as we celebrate entrepreneurship. Every year for one week during November, the organization celebrates with over 4,000 events around the, around the globe, and uh, we're excited to be part of it for the first time this year. Tom Hall from the Class of 83 is going to be our keynote speaker at our kickoff dessert reception this evening. Tom is the president and CEO of First Choice ER and we're excited to have him here today. Uh, the work that he's doing is really an intersection of entrepreneurial skills and um, U.S. healthcare policy and so the things that he can do to, to increase effectiveness and efficiency in emergency rooms is a really exciting uh, place to play in right now in the entrepreneurial world and we're also really excited to have him be able to share his experiences with our student entrepreneurs and our faculty and staff here at Clarkson. You know, when, when the dean asked me to come speak about this last summer, I, it, it really challenged me because I've never thought of myself as an entrepreneur. And it's interesting, I'm clearly an entrepreneur, but I've never thought of myself, I'm, I, I think of myself as a professional manager. But, but really, as I researched it, what I found out is a lot of the great entrepreneurs were not inventors. I always confuse being an inventor with being an entrepreneur. A lot of them would take great ideas and then make huge businesses out of them and and that's really what I've done my whole career and so you know when I think about that that that's you know really how it evolved and so with that you know as far as you know a message is that you know there's all kinds of entrepreneurs you can be an entrepreneur with a you can run your special coffee shop and that's wonderful and you can do that and you can make a difference you can run a small business you can run a huge business I think the, the biggest thing I would like to tell students is you have to have a great foundation you know, I use the term tonight, it's kind of a silly term, but I use the term what I call a one-trick pony. You know, there's people that are successful entrepreneurs, but they just got lucky, right? And I, I don't mean no disrespect by that, they had a good idea, but they never can follow it up. They never can come up with that next idea to get them to the next level. And so, but if you build that great foundation that starts with, a, you know, an education at Clarkson University and the work ethic, then you'll be successful.